Good afternoon, my friends. It's uh, 9 of March and I'm going to do video completely different than the other ones. I will be talking about near-death experience. Growing up in Poland, I never heard about near-death experience, even as an adult. And tarot card was not, the, the word was not even existing, existing in my vocabulary at that time. The country was very religious. Uh, my parents, before they divorced, and I was 12 and they divorced, uh, 13, 12, 13, when they divorced, uh, they were sending me to take religion because they wanted to have nice communion for me. That was a big thing. Nice dress. They let me to have short dress. Even everyone else was wearing long one. So they wanted me to stand up. Maybe that was not a bad idea because it gave me a ability to know I can be different. And I will start with, I was pregnant, I was 29, and my water, I was 10 days over the due day. So that day I went to, to see my gynecologist and she said, requisition to the hospital, tomorrow morning you will go to the hospital. It's evening and we are watching TV, laughing, my broke, water broke. I started laughing even more because I usually do laughing when I'm scared. And then my husband don't know how to put the pants on. <laughs> he was so enthusiastic. <laughs> I said, well, maybe I will be driving. He calmed down. And we end up in the hospital evening. Right away, they took me to the room full of ladies, about 15 of us were lay, laying next to each other. Some were walking and they told me I can't. You better lay down and because I have a bleeding disorder. They already knew that because I had miscarriage a few months before. So they told me, you, you better <laughs> be laying down. I was writing letters to my brother because he was getting married actually the same time, day before, day after. But he was in uh, Austria, we didn't have any contacts, just letters, so there was not even enough communication. But that's uh, this. And when my bro what, uh, water broke down, I'm laying and seven o'clock in the morning, the doctor came in and she did, she checked me out, so she, put her two fingers or more, I don't know. And I lost, I knew that I'm losing my blood pressure. I have a problem with blood pressure. Sometimes it's very high, sometimes it's very low. And my blood pressure went. I'm laying in the bed and above me is the bell. I can pull it. I couldn't move my hand. And I knew it's so bad, so the panic kicks. I knew I can't scream. Nothing will come out of my mouth. It's very, very scary moment when you are stuck in your body. Your brain is still kind of working, but your body is refusing to, to do anything. And good for me that after that doctor the next thing was the nurse, young male nurse. Eventually the girls told me that that guy saved your life because he came right away and he was checking my blood pressure and he saw, saw that it's so low that the alarm started ringing and I heard that. I heard the alarm and they right away pulled my bed to the emergency. And I'm looking on my body, laying in the bed, knowing that it's me, but I'm floating above it. 
and they are opening those doors for the bed they are running and I'm following them from above and I'm just floating through the wall I didn't even find this interest funny or anything I just was watching myself what they are going to do with me and they eventually took me to the emergency room I don't know how fast they were there but the doc the surgeon is counting from 10 to 0 or 10 to 1 and I'm sitting above on the lamp the lamp is look, giving the lights to them and I'm seeking, sitting on that lamp as a ghost because I knew I'm see-through and I'm watching everything what's going on he took the scalp after he reached zero or one and he used that scalp and the blood show up so you know that they, they were in a panic to to make sure that it's not too much and I saw the baby and I thought oh I can now relax and the, the everything was done with me I didn't have any more visions any any I disappeared from my own <laughs> I didn't know what's going on with me 11 hours later I'm waking up in the small room just one bed and there is private nurse next to me and heard in Poland like they were putting us in the rooms for several girls ladies to give birth and after that I end up in one of those rooms as well and she is oh, I'm glad you woke up I didn't feel too much about this and then she is asking me you know where you are I said yes in the hospital and she said what year it is I said what day and I was correct and what is your name and so on <laughs> but that's usually when someone has accident they will ask that but I didn't have accident but my mind was still working very slow and I asked so how is my baby and she said you have a beautiful son four and a half kilo 4.6 kilograms and big but you can't see him yet because you, you are too weak. I'm fine. And she said, no, you are too weak. We have to keep you for a few days. And then I end up being 10 days in the hospital. But that was the first time I ever heard about having a, a near-death experience. So that was, I came home. I was telling everyone you know I had a very weird dream in the hospital so everyone knew that dream that I had and uh, my mom was telling me that she had the, the same night a dream that my son will be Magnus on the shield so that was a nice dream for Leszek and it was something that I just thought it was a dream and four and a half years later, we end up in Canada. And a few months later, I heard on the TV that people are talking about near-death experience. And I'm calling my husband. I said, watch this. That's what I was experiencing. His English was <laughs> worse than mine that time. And uh, so I was translating to him, and I was so excited. I thought, that's what I was experiencing. It was near death, that, but not that enough. <laughs> but that's what I'm, I took this from, because I felt I was separated from my body, but not to the point that, uh, and I don't remember the moment that I went back to my body but that was something that I was so happy about that I experienced this they say that a lot of people with near-death experience 
I'm more psychic. I was already a psychic before, but then I had a, I was drowning when I was over 10 years old in the swimming pool. And that time I thought, I'm not drowning because I don't see that the whole movie, like from your life. You should see everything <laughs> piece by piece. I didn't see both times that movie that I was expecting to see when you are dying. So both of the time, I never thought that I was dying. And the, the, the guy who was working on the swimming pool, he pulled me out and uh, I was apparently blue. My girlfriends were telling me, you are so blue, you died. And blah, blah, blah. But I didn't, but I had those psychic abilities. So that they are somehow apparently connected to, to near-death experience for many people. And we make sure that our kids can swim, oh gosh. Poor kids, they were not even five years old. The, soon, the first classes that they were allowed to attend, we were right away there. And making sure that they were swimmer, good swimmers. Leszek saved one girl's life that the teacher gave him, on the camp gave him a horn for that. But it was so nice to... No, oh, I, I knew that. And everyone, who, if you have children or grandchildren, make sure that you can teach them swimming, that they need to, to know how to swim, how to be, how to feel comfortable in the water. But that was the story that I wanted to share with you. Probably I forgot so many things that I wanted to say. Yesterday I was talking with Cheryl and she was asking me about this and I thought, why not? I would like to share, because the, those stories are interesting to me to this day. Everyone has different experience and you are very welcome to share yours if you want to put them in the comment section. That would be very interesting. And yeah, I survived <laughs> two times. And I, I feel that maybe some of you will, would like to watch it. So I thought I will record this and I will post this today. Take care of yourself. See you. See, please see me on my YouTube channel, Psychic Violetta, uh, because that's where I'm usually doing videos. But this one was a little bit different and I feel I enjoy it. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.